Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. If you need IT consulting, go to WillieHow.com, fill out the contact form or click their Hire Us button. Once we've got your information, someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. If you'd like to support the channel by using our Ubiquity or Amazon affiliate links, those are down below. What we're talking about today is setting up the IDS IPS on our UXG Pro. So let's hop over here. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to settings. We're going to go to firewall and security. And what we're going to do here is we're going to do two things. We're going to turn on country restrictions. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to country restrictions. We're going to say block. We're going to say both directions. And we're going to do China here. And then we're going to search for Russia there. So now we've got China and Russia blocked right now. I think that that's a, a pretty good rule set. So we'll go ahead and apply that. But then what we're going to do is we're going to come down here and we're going to enable threat management. Now with threat management, you have IDS and IPS or here detect, which would be intrusion detection or IPS, which is intrusion prevention, detect and block. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to detect and block. And by default, you've got three categories, low, medium, high, and then you have a custom. So if I click on low, you see that it only uh, blocks uh, six of three categories. Medium is 17 and high is 35 of 35. So we could go to custom and then edit the categories and we can see all of these categories that it allows us to take charge of. So what we're actually going to do here is we're actually going to go ahead and just use uh, high. And then what we're going to do is we're going to leave dark web blocker on. And this prevents traffic encrypted by Tor from moving through your networks. And then we're going to leave uh, the malicious website blocker, which is a uh, unified real-time database. It says it prevents clients with IP addresses known to be malicious from accessing your networks. We're going to leave that enabled. And we're going to go ahead and click apply. And uh, that is it. We could turn on the internal honeypot, but we're not going to do that. Uh, we're going to go over other firewall options and, and some of those other things in a few more videos. But one of the most requested things was how to do the IDS, IPS, and the country blocking. So that is what we just did. It took us less than three minutes from start to stop. So if you've got any questions about this, let me know down in the comments. One other thing is you should be able to get between three and five gigabits of throughput, even with IDS IPS enabled. So if you've got any questions besides that about the UXG Pro with IDS IPS, let me know down in the comments. I'll leave Ubiquity affiliate links for all the hardware used in this video. And if you've got any questions, definitely leave them in the comments. Um, and please, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe, please comment and share. Please follow me on Twitter and TikTok. Those links are down below. If you need that IT consulting, go to willyhow.com. Click hire us or contact us. Fill that information out and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. Once again, all of our affiliate links are down below. They don't change your price, but they do kick a couple bucks to the channel. I'm Willie. I want to thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.